John literally in the in the delivery room with Jaden called me on the phone. I'm in Ohio. This nigga calls me like, Mom, this ain't going so good. She acting crazy. I don't know what to do. She over here scaring me. I'm like, this is what you do. Sit her up in that seat. I'm FaceTiming them. They got her lean back in the chair like, girl, who has a baby laying down? Lean her up in that chair. Start talking to her in her ear. Motivate her. Cheerlead for her. And she still was out of control. She, Jaden was gone. She, Javon gave Jaden, that was nine, ten pounds. Javon gave Jaden a run for her money up in there, okay? So, now I'm on the phone and I'm like, it's, uh, you know, her mom in there. But, you know, when your mom is in there, your mom being distressed, like, you her child first. So, her mom was in the chair, like, shook. I could see it on her mom. Jaden's mom was shook. You hear me? Shook. I was shook when, when I was in there with Callie. Like, my sister had to come through. I almost fainted in some more stuff. So, the Jaden's mom was in the chair, shook. I'm on the phone, like, Jaden, sit up, baby. You got to sit up because you got to get ready to push. I don't care if you having pains, you got to sit up. They got her lean back in the chair. So she once she sat up, she had more control of her body. John in there looking like he shook. Like, you know, he was so scared that either she wasn't, he just was shook. I seen it. His face was like, and mind you, they was young people, about 18, 19 years old. So it wasn't something that they had seen before or knew what to do. So... <laughs> I told John, I said, promise, Jaden, tell her you promise if she stop hollering like that, that you will get her name tattooed on you when she get done having your baby. So he said, Jaden, if you stop hollering like this, I'm going to get your name tattooed. I'm going to get your name tattooed on my body. Just please stop hollering like this. It's going to be okay. So as soon as he told her he was going to get her name tatted on him, if she calmed down, boy, she calmed down like a G. She was like, <laughs> she calmed down so good. This story just warms my heart, y'all. I'm sorry if I'm taking it there because this is how the baby came out. Anyway, she calmed down and she was able to focus like, yeah, nigga, you better get this tattoo. You better get my name tatted. So <laughs> this is a true story, y'all. I'm not bullshitting you. I'm on FaceTime. He tells her that she calms down and I just lay down and start praying like, Lord, have mercy. So anyway, he got her name tatted afterwards because she calmed down and she did a good job. Come on now, y'all all know who my makeup artist is. This is a good story. So you need, this was the moral of the story. You need grandparents. You need to make, you know, some people to motivate you and make sure that baby come out. Here she go again, talking about her son and Jaden. Who asked for this information? I don't know nobody who said, hey, Kylissa, tell me about the time where Jaden was giving birth to Blueface's first son. Nobody asked for this information. This is private information. Nobody should know it except for Blueface and his goddamn family. This is stuff I'm talking about. Why like Blueface, he don't want nothing to do with his mama. She is embarrassing. She's the type of mama, you can't tell her shit. Because as soon as you tell her, she's getting on Facebook. She's getting on Instagram. She's calling all her friends and telling them exactly what you just told her. You cannot trust nobody like that. Like, I would not trust my kids around her. Because, like, somebody like that. They gonna expose everything. Like, why are you telling that business for telling me something? Oh, tell her if she stop, she stop yelling. I'm gonna get her name tatted. Like, why are you telling that shit for? Her? And that's a dumb reason to get somebody name tatted. I don't care if we married. I do not believe in getting your name, like your spouse name tatted, because what you gonna do when they cheat? You gonna get it removed? I mean, you can get it covered up, but it's other ways to show how much you love somebody other than getting the goddamn tattoo. You can get a ring, jewelry, clothes, you know what I'm saying? Get somebody some money, but a tattoo? No. That's why I don't understand how Jaden and Krishan got his name on her a million times, but shit. Money do talk. If a nigga got some money and tell a girl, look, get my name on her, shit, they probably do. Especially if she dumb as hell, but, bro, Carlissa, bro, she is off the chain. I don't know who's worse, Tokyo Tony or her. I don't know. They are the battle for the crazy, weird-ass moms that always got to be in their kids' business. Don't make no damn sense, man. What y'all think about this, your boy? Beat much.